Hi, welcome to your second video on y equals mx plus b, and we will be able to graph from an equation. First question we have here is how do I graph equations in y equals mx plus b form? Um, so we're going to draw some graphs here. Um, the best thing you can do is be detailed in them. I know I, um, so just do your best there. First one, we have y equals 3x plus 4. Um, and you will want to note um, here that the 3 is your slope, remember, um, which is y over x. And then the 4 here is your y-intercept. Remember, your intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, so that would be 0, 4. Uh, you're going to take this information and you're going to graph it. Um, so the slope here is 3 over 1. Um, and our starting point is actually going to be at the y-intercept itself because that's what you know um, about the graph. So 4, 0, 4 is right here. So that's our starting point. Um, so always start at the y-intercept. And then you are going to go up 3 and over 1 and put your next point up 3 and over 1 again you can reverse it too and go down 3 and to the left one but here is your graph of your line second one um, we have here let's see is y minus, or sorry, y equals x minus 8. Um, so here we have our slope. Uh, let's try a different color here. Um, slope here is right here. Now notice there isn't anything there, but it's really, there really is. It's a 1. Um, so your slope is just 1 over 1. And then your y-intercept is actually going to be negative 8. So your point is going to be 0, negative 8. Let's graph this one. So we start at our y-intercept. So 0, negative 8. That's where it crosses that y-axis. Um, and then I'm going up 1 over 1 consistently. Um, so that my line is positive and it'll look like this. Third one looks a little bit different um, just because we have, make this a little bit smaller here. Okay, third one here is m equals one half and b equals negative five. So you don't, you're not given an equation, um, but you could write an equation, um, and that would be y equals one half x minus five. Um, but you know your slope is 1 half and b is negative 5, which means 0, negative 5 is on our um, axis. So when we do this, we're going to start at 0, negative 5. That's the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. And then our slope is 1 half. So I'm going to go up 1 and over 2. Remember to check for positive and negative. Um, actually, let's make this one negative 1 half. Um, so change that. So just to make things different. So we're starting at our y-intercept and I'm going to make this a negative line. So I'm going to go down 1 and over 2. Down 1 and over 2. Down 1 over 2. Um, I can reverse it and go up 1 and to the left 2. And now here is my line of y equals negative one half x minus five. There are a couple special cases that I'd like to talk about. Um, here is y equals seven. And in this one, we're missing the mx part. Um, it's not there, which means that our slope is actually zero. Um, and then our y-intercept is seven which means the point is 0, 7. Um, so what we have to do is make a line that has no slope. And if you remember Mr. Slope, okay, that would be a horizontal line um, that would give it 0 slope. So we're going to make a horizontal line at the point 0, 7, which would be right here. So it's still crossing the y-axis, 
but it has no slope. It's just zero. Um, totally flat, just like the ground that you typically walk on. A little bit different of a problem we have is y equals negative 3. Um, same type of thing, you're still missing that mx place. Um, because the x isn't there, you know that the slope isn't there either. So the slope is 0, and your y-intercept is negative 3. That means we're starting at 0, negative 3. And then we're going to also have a horizontal line going through that point, intersecting the y-axis at negative 3. It is your turn. Please graph y equals 3x minus 1. Um, and we'll actually talk about this one in class because it's a little bit harder um, to tell you what the right answer is. And that is the end of your video. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.